Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in today's video, we're going to go over Starkey as a 5-star, and I'll do a little bit of gameplay and let you know what I think about him. But the most important question of all is, is he hot or not? Oh yeah, he's hot. I'm into aliens like Katy Perry's Extraterrestrial. Okay, whatever floats your boat. Alright, so remember that Starkey is a free unit and you get him from the latest quest. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you check that out on the channel. Uh, his VC is quite defensive and it actually has some offensive capabilities as well. 40% type resistance to all main and reserve party members and helps with crystal type attack power plus 40 for the whole team as well. Uh, you can see that the moves I went with. And don't forget, he is a lunatic with Mind's Eye, which takes advantage of enemies weak to his element. Not only that, when he takes damage, he gains two power stacks, which is a little bit unique compared to some of the other uh, free uh, Chrono Cross collab units. Now, in terms of his moves, uh, you have to go with the Twinkle, which is um, his own uh, kind of mental focus move. Not only does a three times L single target attack, increased uh, magic damage plus which is the mental focus this is a very awesome one mp consumption of all party members minus 50 percent and if you stack all 10 stacks of power levels just like other chrono cross collab units you can get a maximum decrease of 80 percent mp use in terms of the starlight this is a spam move you can definitely use magic aoe crystal type and 30 percent barrier note that it guarantees crit as well as well as increased barrier damage uh, shielding when max stacks. And finally, the Starburst is the very nice defensive move, which is perfect for magic type teams, preemptive crystal type attack AoE, power int down five turns, and inflicts sleep and rage for five turns as well. And he, when he receives physical damage, um, counter heal, and counter heal status as well. Again, at 10 stacks, higher healing levels. Now, one um, notable mention is the star, star Aura. So if you need extra tanking ability against really high DPS physical units, you can use this one. Note that he can rage himself first and then obviously cast that afterwards for extra shielding, kind of like the Bertrands of the world. Uh, keep in mind that you can also um, customize their elements as needed, uh, just like the other Chrono Cross collab using the element system. Now in terms of his uh, board, you can take a look here. So a special ability, as I said, is two power stacks uh, when uh, get, getting hit. And you can see the rest of the board. Note that currently he really only has the staff ability to share personality with. And standard grass to set up, pain, 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 enemy numbers, bullseye, and customized as you need. Don't forget that the true uh, VC is gotten from the minigame, which is just outside the quest once you get him. All right, let's take him out for a spin. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So first of all, um, for the most part, the preemptive Starburst will be more than enough to handle mobs. Uh, it is fa fairly mana intensive, and so I really wouldn't uh, use him to farm, obviously. However, in longer fights, what you can do is you can set up with the preemptive first. Obviously, that helps dual debuff. Note that when he gets hit by a physical attack, and he rages the enemy, he'll get hit and then he'll just heal the whole team just like that. So the only limitation is, of course, it's not like a pry where you can tank all, all the hits like an AoE. And it is only for physical attacks, so obviously for magical attacks, you'd have to use um, other type of healing as needed. But against any enemies who do a most mostly physical attacks, you can definitely uh, win the game solely with him. Uh, check out the fight I did against the Lavager, which is the optional fight from this Chrono Cross collab. He is definitely the MVP for healing and dual debuffing. All right, so in our first example, we're going to take on an uh, older uh, super boss of sorts, the Terra Nivium 20,000 BC. This one is weak to crystal, so you can take a look at his offensive capabilities. Now note when you look at his stat line, his physical defense and endurance are actually very high for a mage. He is a magic user, of course, with the staff. Um, his int is okay. However, his overall DPS is actually quite low for a staff user. He's not a pure uh, magic attacker, nor would I expect him to be. After all, with all those defensive capabilities, you're going to have to sacrifice some offensive capabilities in general. I mean, it would be too OP if it was super high-end defense and offense. They haven't made a unit like yeah, that yet in WFS. Now note that obviously we're going to do a two-turn AF here against this boss, 
and we're going to activate Lunatic, which is Mind's Eye for both Clark AS as well as for Starkey. This enemy is weak to uh, Crystal, and so we can exploit that with the Mind's Eye being that it allows us to do extra damage against enemies weak to that element. One good capability of Starkey again is that you can equip different elements and use elements to exploit that. However, the multiplier of those uh, moves are generally low because they're not inherent to the unit. Alright, and remember to activate Mental Focus if you don't already have a Mental Focus unit on your team such as AS Chi or AS Rosetta. And you can see that um, the AoE, obviously that Starburst, which is the uh, mech one, which is dual debuffer, has a pretty low multi uh, damage multiplier. Also, even his spam move is not really high, and so I definitely wouldn't consider has him as a mainline DPS. What he's really, really good at is really adding some defensive capabilities to uh, magic teams. Currently, we don't really have anyone as a strong dual debuff. I mean, AS... Uh, two of it is okay, however her speed is inherently extremely low and so a lot of times faster bosses or super bosses will outspeed your team. In this case, this although is crystal which is not uh, as useful, no, you know, not that many enemies are weak to crystal, however it is preemptive and so unless the enemy is also preemptive, you're going to have uh, you know, an advantage in uh, making sure you apply those debuffs first. Alright, so in the next example, we're going to take out down the true bosses of the Chrono Cross collab. And, um, you know, I have obviously beaten them earlier on, but this time we're going to use the entire Chrono Cross collab team and to kind of uh, show some of the strengths and some of the flaws um, with Starkey. Alright, so obviously if you've played this before or you fought the boss, then you kind of know what kind of moves are set up. And so you can kind of um, definitely trial and error and see what works best. In this case, we're going to use a few turns to just stack up all those stacks. Remember that all the Chrono Cross collabs do need to have um, high stacks and certain moves give more stacks than others. And so you can definitely um, play around and see what works best for you. Remember that Starkey does get uh, two stacks every time he gets hit. And because he can put Rage on the enemy, if I know that the enemy does do three hits like that, first of all, he'll heal three times, and each time he heals, he gets two stacks as well. So he can get to ten stacks very easily without using one of his other uh, moves, which is the um, increase max HP and physical resistance. I don't find that one nearly as useful, because for all the fights I've brought him along, he generally can survive, especially when given other supports like type resistance, so on and so forth. Now the rest of the team is just here to really support the DPS for Surge. Remember the Surge obviously has that dual zone which helps all four blend together. And he uh, his moves are non-type but if you equip um, element in the top slot, he'll copy that element and use it. So in this case we know that the enemy is weak to Crystal and so we're just um, you know using him as our main DPS. Although Kid cannot do much damage because uh, she is inherently fire. She can still equip elements as well, and we actually will show you the load there where Surge, I mean Harley and Kid are supporting Surge's DPS. Um, Kid obviously is is really good in the fact that at max stacks, the Zen Steel does do 50% um, triple debuff and 50% boost for your team. Alright, so we've made it a half HP stopper, and really it's just, uh, I, I, yo. Know, uh, a matter of time to win this particular fight. We only need really two turns to build up another half AF and we're going to win the fight there. And again, note that um, when we hit the HP stopper, tr the true version of um, the Dragon God does kind of rush us the same moves as the first time around where it did kind of that um, kind of the, th uh, the, the AoE. And don't forget that because it was physical, we got the heal right off the bat with the counter from Starburst. Now, uh, in our second turn, we got hit by an AoE Crystal. Note that if you don't have shielding up, it can do significant damage. However, we do have Harley doing the, um, obviously, the Lunar Protection at max stacks, and also has the Anti-Crystal move, which is equipped uh, through the Element System. When she uses it, she actually has uh, more benefits than the rest of the team, and I hope that they modify in the future, because technically Starkey is a mage as well. I hope that they allow uh, him to get that benefit of the higher defensive or offensive multiplier with a lot of those elements as opposed to just Harley. Now, that being said, um, the fight was won pretty easily and obviously um, with the addition of Starkey, we really round out our team, taking full advantage of the uh, dual zone with Surge and of course, like I said, the fact that we can dual debuff and have it preemptive, you don't have to rely on Zed Seal nearly as much uh, to kind of um, prevent damage from coming in.
Now, if you've seen me fight the Lavalger, which is the optional boss uh, from the Chrono Cross collab, um, you technically will use multiple debuffs and keep in mind that even with multiple debuffs they do have diminishing returns that means that obviously um there's a certain formula that can be calculated i had an earlier video about, about the math behind buffs and debuffs but certainly if you search up on the subreddit um diminishing returns you'll find some more interesting information about how those buffs stack all right so in our final example lynx is the true boss i should say uh from this collab and i will say this actually demonstrates that there must be something a little bit weird or uh broken with um the coding for starkey the iron of first of all don't forget that um Lynx does have preemptive moves as well and so when they go preemptive versus preemptive your higher base speed will determine who goes first so i actually have to play around with that as well turn two doesn't have a preemptive however it does have an aoe if we land zed steel first we'll slow them down and then we can act before the enemy acts now note that I do have a Rage here, okay? So remember that Rage is on Lynx. However, note that the three hit counter doesn't all hit um, Starkey. So let me know in the comments below if you know if this is a known bug, if it's just because Lynx is awesome, but most random three hits do all hit the Rage person. And one other thing about Lynx is that in some of my trials when I failed really hard, it took me an hour to film this one fight. And if you're wondering why, it's not that difficult. However, uh, the heal actually didn't occur all the time with Starburst. Uh, he hit him and he didn't heal. It's only in some examples it does. So it's not even consistent and I'm not sure what I did right or wrong, but I've never seen that before. So anyways, that being said, um, definitely notice that a lot with this fight. And if you're relying on obviously the counter here, heal and that mechanic doesn't work, I really don't know what else to say. So in turn three, um, not only is it an AoE, it actually does cancel zone. And so I'm just going to use Crest and move back in to reset a Slash Stone, which doesn't help us for now. And again, see? Two single hit random, only one hit um, Starkey. And note that it does show that Rage is active. So again, very inconsistent with Lynx. Not sure if they just... The interaction between these fights in general, this, these two units, as, as in Lynx and Starkey, just don't have the perfect synergy. But in my other fights, it seemed to work okay. Cancel zone again, and back to the dual um, zone. Now we do have a full AF, and remember that um, if you aren't very good at playing the piano during the AF, it's really hard to get max stacks of the katana swing to get kid to 10 stacks, and even with the um, light of meditation to get surge to 10 stacks. So you really have to kind of plan ahead and see how you're going to press everything. It does take a lot of practice, and if you're not very um, well versed in it, uh, kid is much harder to use and in these kind of instances. But that being said, I've been practicing a little bit um, on these kind of uh, skills. And of course, for those who didn't already know, I have played piano for many, many years uh, since a young child. Um, so, you know, have some slight advantages over some of you who, who may not have that previous experience. All right, so nice. We're all down to the halfways part. So we do have to survive two turns. And if RNG favors us, and when I say RNG, I just mean like if he counter heals or rages properly, then it will work. Again, I died many times because the counter heal did not work, which is ridiculous. But here it does on glide hook, which is really great. I mean, remember, not only the counter heal heals fully um, and heals even more based on max stacks, it actually cures status, almost like a pizza cut at the end of turn, but it actually counters immediately as the as the team gets a hit, which is really, really good. So I'm sure you can find very, very many uses of having that counter hit. See, Rage did not work. And look, did not heal. Did you see that? He got hit and he did not heal the team. So that was clearly a physical slash move. So there you go. What a scam. All right, so again, we are back to half bar. We're gonna just win the fight here. And so, yeah, for a fight that wasn't supposed to be that difficult, um, the mechanics actually did uh, uh, make it a lot less fun, but I'm glad I have filmed it and recorded it. So I, at least I can show you that there are seeming to be some inherent programming flaws with Starkey, and maybe they'll address it in a future update. Um, I have not reported it to the devs. Um, I'm hoping that um, they can discover it. And I know that people in Japan are quite a bit more adamant in kind of uh, discovering these kind of bugs than myself, which is, you know, I'm just a gamer dad. I'm not an expert at the game or do I, um, you know, 
have lots of, uh, t uh, I guess, abilities in kind of min-maxing the entire team. All right, so back to the loadout. Uh, it was fun to use the entire Chrono Cross collab, and of course, I know a lot of you are waiting for Glenn as well. Obviously, she showed up in the optional quest to fight Lavager, and so hopefully, he'll become a playable unit for us in the future. But for now, definitely, these Chrono Cross collabs, and especially if you're relatively new or even relatively mid-game or end-game, if you haven't played around with the Chrono Cross collab units, definitely, they are very, very powerful, and in some cases, could be even more useful than some gacha units out there depending on what you're looking for. All right, so in conclusion, uh, Starkey is a great add. I'm very happy to add him to the team. He has a lot of capabilities. The defensive capabilities are excellent. The physical tanking is excellent. Um, preemptive sh um, dual debuff and the fact that he does have crystal capabilities as well. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.